Welcome to the Ed Tech Show. I'm Dan Spade, and in today's life changing video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create PowerPoint and Google Slides presentations using AI. As someone who's created countless Google Slides and PowerPoint presentations for my students and for various professional development sessions, I am so excited to share two tools with you today. Uh, the first is called Slides GPT, which you can find at slidesgpt.com. And all you have to do is tell this AI tool what you want to create a slide deck about. So I just typed in, I want to create a slide deck about social emotional learning for middle school students. So in this scenario, we're going to pretend that we have to give a PD session on this. Uh, you can go ahead and click which theme you would like, then click create deck. You're going to see the little hamster running on the wheel. This should take only a few minutes. So that took about two minutes or so, and you will see at the top, there's a note that says this was created by AI. So some of the information may be incorrect. Obviously, you just want to use this as a framework. Um, and you'll see that we gave it a very broad topic of just social emotional learning for middle school students. The more details you provide it, the more details it will give back to you. But let's just take a look and see what it came up with for social emotional learning for middle school students. And you will see they always provide presenter notes, which is really nice touch. Uh, so we'll see what is SEL. So here's the five core competencies of SEL. They've got a nice picture in there. We've got some self-awareness, self-management, social awareness. And again, I'm just sort of going through, but you'll see this is a really nice presentation. And you can go through and you can download it. And then you can customize it to whatever you want for your school or add, you know, take away any of the things. Uh, to do that, all you have to do is click on download, and you'll see there is a $2.50 charge to purchase these slides. Now, if you are looking for a free version, I'll show you a free version in a second. Uh, however, some people might look at this and say $2.50 is well worth the time it would have taken them to create this, and they want to purchase it. And by purchasing, you can download it, and you can edit it in either Google Slides or PowerPoint, or you can just download it as a PDF, which you can't edit. Uh, but if you want to see a free version, I'll show you that right now. So this next tool I'm going to show you is a freemium tool. It does have a free version as well as a subscription service. Uh, it's magicslides.app. So once you've installed the app, when you go up to extensions, you'll see it says Magic Slides app, GPT for slides. You go over to open and it opens up a new window. Now this time, let's be a little bit more specific um, than we were in the last one. So this time we're gonna do social emotional learning for preschool special education students. So let's see what it comes up with when we uh, add some more parameters. We're gonna add number of slides to 10 and we'll select images for each slide. So that took about 90 seconds or so. And you'll see um, our title slide says social emotional learning for preschool special education students. We'll come over and click on the first slide. And you'll notice the formatting is a little bit funky. So you're going to have to sort of, you know, adjust that a little bit. But we'll see, uh, you know, it says, what is social emotional learning? And then we've got some information. I really like the pictures with these. Um, uh, the next slide says, why is SEL important for preschool special education students? And you'll notice that the information that it gives us underneath uh, is specific to special education students, which is really nice. So it... By giving it more details, it's providing us with more details. Now, the one thing that Magic Slides doesn't have that the other one had is there's no speaker notes, um, which is, you know, a little bit different. But you, I do, like I said, like the formatting and the pictures a little bit better. You know, strategies for Im implementing SEL in the classroom. Benefits of SEL for preschool special education students. Supporting SEL development at home. Measuring SEL outcomes and so on. So you'll see these provide a really great framework uh, to work within. And if you want more information about Magic Slides, you can see the pricing for free. You do get three presentations a month, 2,500 characters uh, input per presentation, access to all previous slides, and sports all languages. There are premium plans where you get a little bit more. So you get more presentations, more characters, um, and so on. But for teachers, I really like this free version because it does provide you with enough to get started and it saves a lot of time, which is what I love, whether you're trying to find lessons to create for your students in class or professional development sessions. 
I know there's a lot of fear right now about how AI is impacting education, and I have several other video ideas showing teachers how they can use AI in the classroom. Uh, however, I thought it was great to start with this video here showing teachers that AI can actually be used to help save them time and make them more efficient uh, by letting AI do some of that heavy lifting. As I said in the beginning, I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that this is life changing because I know I have spent so many hours of my life creating presentations and sometimes getting started is the hardest part. So using these tools will create that framework that will allow you to just go in and customize it, sort of plug in your own information. So I love these tools. I can't speak highly enough about them. Uh, I want to just tell every teacher I know about them. If you know of any tools that you're using that you want other teachers to know, please let us know in the comments section what they are and how you're using them. And if you know of any teachers that could benefit from seeing this video, please feel free to share this with them. Uh, and if you haven't already, please make sure to give this video a big like. And if you're new, please click that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't already, please follow me on social media, uh, facebook.com slash the ed tech show. And you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Dan Spada. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.